Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, ladies and lurker spirits, welcome. So today's feminine school video is all about learning the very feminine foundation skill of seeing yourself as sacred and precious so that you can have the very feminine skill of knowing how to walk away instead of trying to shoehorn yourself into a low value man's life. Now seeing yourself as both sacred and precious is a parenting a responsibility that a mother and a father is responsible for injecting into a child's self-worth and their self-esteem. But unfortunately, most mothers and fathers will drop the ball on giving their daughters a proper foundation of seeing themselves as worthy of being cherished, provided for, and loved on as a standard, particularly if those parents themselves had or have low self-esteem. Because as many of you know, a parent cannot give to a child what they don't have themselves, which is why it is so important for our generation to interrupt the patterns of inherited misinformation and magical thinking and shallow wisdom and inherited dysfunction so that generational curses can be broken. But one of the most important insightful and reflective and confidence building lessons that you will need to learn on your feminine journey is on how to see yourself as sacred and precious, as opposed to being abused and stuck on stupid with slick talking men or neglected or taken advantage of or lowballed or mistreated, as is the case with the beautiful Miss Jessica White that we've been discussing as a cautionary tale quite heavily over at the Hypergamous Hive. And Jessica White, like most women who are caught up in the push and pull cycle of a soul tie or a love triangle or a messy situation, is unfortunately yet another beautiful woman who lacks the internal feminine foundation of seeing herself as both sacred and precious. And Jessica's story is a testimony to the fact that beauty does not automatically equal high self-esteem, and it certainly does not make a woman see herself as the feminine prize. Now the word sacred means blessed, hallowed, being spiritually connected, or it can simply mean something or someone who is worthy of protection. And the word precious means being of great value or worth or being invaluable. So when you combine the words sacred and precious together, they form a powerful foundation of nurturing your feminine divine and keeping your feminine divine or your feminine energy elevated so that you aren't withering or shrinking or feeling disempowered or remaining stuck when a toxic man or a toxic situation presents itself in your life. And without these feminine principles of sacredness and preciousness to ground you internally as women, we are inclined to feel very undeserving and very unworthy and rejected. And we are inclined to attract unworthiness. And we are inclined to define ourselves by our embarrassments and our mistakes or our flaws instead of simply learning from our mistakes. And we are inclined to make poor relationship decisions based out of a very thirsty and desperate need for outside love and acceptance. And we are inclined to take the criticisms and the judgments and the harsh words or the actions or the inactions of others very, very personal. Because when women do not see themselves as sacred or precious in place of that lack, a woman will instead become love starved to the point of humiliation. And she will even seek out a bottom shelf, soul crushing advice and even worse, without a foundation of seeing herself as sacred and precious, women are inclined to abandon themselves and to believe the projections and the hateful opinions of both self-hating men and self-hating women who seek to crush, destroy, devalue, and malign our worth. And when we are at our lowest and feeling unworthy, we will accept abuse, neglect, and mistreatment as a standard from our insecure frenemies, our hateful siblings, and our toxic family members. Because in most cases, that is all we know. Now, the reason why so many women end up in low value situationships and marriages and toxic relationships is because they were never taught to place themselves on a pedestal and to see themselves as sacred or precious. And without that feminine education, a woman, no matter how beautiful or how attractive she may be on the outside, will be inclined to have a very low opinion of herself. So as a word of advice, ladies, whether you are 20, 30, 35, 45, or even 60, 
If a person is telling you to slit your throat or to cut your wrist and bleed out or to throw yourself in a bargain bin or a garbage bin just because you never learned how to be feminine or just because you're a single mother or just because you're over 35 and unmarried, just ask yourself this very important question. Is that advice really helping you to reach your full potential? And is that advice helping you to see yourself as sacred and precious? So ladies, if you want a man, your husband, your boyfriend, your lover or the roster of men you are currently dating to cherish you and to see you as sacred and precious, then you must see yourself as sacred and precious first, as one does not come before the other. And you cannot expect a man to cherish you and to value you if at first you have not done the same for yourself. So here are seven feminine suggestions on how to begin to treat yourself as sacred and precious. Uh, number one, rewrite the script. Recognize your internal script or the broken and hurtful script that you have inherited from your family of origin. A lot of what we as women think and feel about ourselves would generally come from our families. And if the messages were neglectful, unhelpful, or downright toxic, we will have to put ourselves through some very serious unlearning and reprogramming to get to a healthy space of feeling worthy. So as a solution, replace damaging or neglectful scripts with feminine mantras such as I am worthy, or even better, practice both the 10 feminine commandments or the 10 hypergamous commandments that are both over at the hypergamouslife.com and they will change your life for the better. Uh, number two, practice mirror work and womb work. In order for a man to love your reflection, you must love your reflection first. And in order to have a healthy relationship with trust, a feminine woman must learn how to trust herself first. And there are plenty of videos on the topics of mirror work and womb work on YouTube. Uh, number three, accept your feminine divinity. Seeing yourself as sacred and precious means accepting the fact that you are not a mistake and that you are a unique and divine expression of God's imagination. Now, this may be hard for some of you to believe, especially if you were never taught that, but it is very true. There is no one in the world like you, and that is a beautiful thing. So accept that there is only one like you in the world and that feminine fact alone means that you are worthy of celebrating. At number four, treat yourself as the prize. As a feminine woman, you have a daily choice. You will either choose self-love through your actions or you will choose self-hate. So practice self-forgiveness, self-compassion, and self-kindness every day. And eventually your mindset won't accept anything less than believing that you are the prize. Ladies, number five, if a man mistreats you, walks away from you, mishandles you, ignores you, abuses you, lies to you, or tells you that you aren't worthy, that is your red flag cue to walk away. When a woman views herself as sacred and precious, respect from men will always be a minimum. At uh, number six, speaking of men, there are many broken men and women in the world who will try to break your spirit because they are already damaged and broken. But if you tolerate that behavior, he will never see you as sacred and he will never cherish you. Uh, ladies, we teach men how to treat us by walking away and low value men need to know that they are replaceable. And finally, number seven, radiate from within with feminine self care. Uh, radiance is the feminine gift of joy, happiness, and feminine allure uh, that is mixed with the persistence of consistency so that you can become a woman who truly glows from the inside out. And glowing from within is how we stop ourselves from becoming sapphires and sourpusses. And as a bonus, feminine radiance will always be very, very seductive to high value men as opposed to being a woman who is filled with doom and gloom. So that is all that I have to say on this for now, ladies and lurkers, see yourself as sacred and precious and you will never again accept a low value man or being a part of his immature harem or being a part of his love triangle as is the case with Miss Jessica White. So to get this conversation started, have you ever ignored the red flag signs of a toxic situation all because you wanted a fairy tale ending? Uh, please share your amazing thoughts and comments about this video below. And as always, stay tuned for more feminine school videos to come. And I will catch up with you ladies and lurkers in the next one.